viewers and welcome to yet another episode of conversations with yobosai we're here we do this right welcome welcome so on today's show we're going to be talking about uh or continuing the series um the wedding series that i'm doing so wedding events birthday events and recall i said that for a party to be lit there are three vips that are involved so you have the event planner who helps to bring the celebrant situation to life you've got the mc or the host who helps to really engage the guests, you know, just really stare the party or the, or the event in a, in a particular direction, you know, ha, you know, make the guests you know, have a fantastic time. And then we have the DJ who really keeps the guests dancing on the dance floor and just wanting more. I already featured the DJ and if you've not seen it, go and see it. Okay, I'll put the link somewhere. Just go and see that DJ Joe. On today's show, we have one of America's finest MC event hosts, and we're going to be discussing with him to find out what makes him tick, what makes him, um, you know, get in the zone to really give guests the fantastic time of their lives. So without further ado, I'm going to be welcoming MCPC to Conversations with the Yogosa. Really glad to have you here. Finally. Finally. <laughs> what have we found out? I haven't chased me. Well, and I, maybe not chase. But you will be What somebody said, what is time you be chasing? this trip. Action. Finally, I'm here. I'm so I am so happy to have us here. Finally, as you put it. I know. So, what does NCPC? I mean, I know what MC, I guess, myself, ceremony, but what does NCPC? I knew you were going to add that. I'm trying to get that person a lot. NCPC, MC, of course, okay, I have two minutes, depending, okay. depending on where I find myself. Yeah, in a in a creative environment, I would say MC is master of ceremony. PC is professional comedian. Oh, really? But okay. the actual PC yeah. from my first name, of which you both most of you don't know my first name. Okay, my first name is not that popular. Like that. So I actually got a PC from my first name, which is Polycarp. Yeah, so oh, weird. That's my name, Polycarp. P O L Y C A R P. Yeah, how I got a PC was because the first job that I got here in the US. I was working in a call center and I came fresh from, you know, Africa with my accent. That confused accent. So then when anybody called my phone as a customer uh, service agent, you know, you have to like, hey, this is a uh, polygraph of surprise. How can I help you? And they get confused. And they get confused. And the accent was confused. It was confused. Like, oh, where are you calling from? Are you Kenya? Are you in America? I'm like, hey, you owe us money. Why are you worried about calling me? <laughs> so I figured that, you know, the name was kind of causing a lot of confusion. I know. And in the call center environment, they assess your performance based on how long yeah. it takes to take productivity, right? So, so and I wow, well, if this name is causing me trouble, let me just figure out where to make it cool. So that's why it took the P and the C is it become PC. And because I'm already an MC, so when I was about to go into full time MC coming so like, you know what, let's make it simple. MC P C that you know. Hey, look at that. Now it's states. Now 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 stay. Uh, you know what? We'll get to know him. M C P C. Thank you so much again. So were you obviously you've, you've talked about you know comedy and all that right? So were you one of those those guys just growing up? You know how well, back then with that either primary school, secondary school, just some people just had enough for just making people laugh. Like the oh they just need to say just open their eyes, just say e, and everyone just like laughs. Were you not about? I was more than that. Yeah. That is one of those mysterious teeth, trouble song, me making teachers, making fun of everyone. Whoa. Me make, you your mother's so I make fun of her. Those oh. days I'll just make fun of everyone. I have a nickname for everybody in the school. Okay. I'll give somebody a nickname. The person will not know that the person has a nickname. Right. But we start the real name. No, no, I'll call you a nickname. Yeah. People will laugh at him, but you will know that I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, I was out mischievous at that. I was, I'm sure you got into trouble. Oh, I was, yeah, I still have a lot of mad summer, but. The show part. I have a big mad. So, I was, yes, I'm that guy. Okay. That's where I started from. So, at, at, at what point, obviously, growing up, did you decide, okay, you know what? I, I definitely have a knack for comedy, right? And let me, let me make something out of it. Uh, I mean, you started from primary school, secondary school. Uh, okay. I started getting, getting nominated to come to drama groups. Because of the comedy? Because I was comic. I was, yeah, I was very comic relief. I was like, wow, who's, who's storyteller? You know, I could tell you the same story you would tell, but I put a lot of comic. Who does telling the story? So, so from there, they started inviting me to join drama group. So it started from drama. Okay. Being a stage actor and playing different roles on stage. Then, of course... Naturally, is in me. I'm a, I'm a very confident young man. I don't care. I can, I can talk in the midst of one million people. I can't even remove my clothes apart from my box. I know. Yeah, I, 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 
you know, and I, cause I'm, I've done that before in a, a drama where I borrowed clothes to marry a girl. Okay. And the twist was that the people that I borrowed the clothes from after I got married to the girl, they said, I can't give up. So you're so On stage, you actually stripped me all to my boxers. Yeah. I that well. Then along the line, when I went to the, you know, university, you know, that's where, or cut. You went in Nigeria. You know, yeah, boy, yeah, before I went to England. Right. Yeah. So uh, I think we we had a music, a gospel concert, one of the student fellowship okay. concert, and the MC we paid there to come and host the, uh, the, the Prince Festival. We didn't have cell phone then. Yeah, in 1994, and Don't they joke? Yeah. Without their no cell phones, they show up. Shut their phones. They don't be on. But they're like, sorry, what? No. Even the flip was there. Tell me, come right time. The only one is this one that you do like this. The 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 down one. That's what I had. So the show had we've set up production is about to start. MC is nowhere to be found. Whoa. We can't reach him. Yeah. You know, student environment is always full of energy. Yeah. They ha you have to get them engaged. So this is how I started. I was 19, oh, yeah. 1998. Yeah. Now the entire auditorium is full. Everybody is ready. And then what we don't MC. Yeah. And now the students were about to start rioting. Yeah. Yeah. We know the real, we know the re, you know, what the, the, uh, Okay, so the music director said before these people mess up this event, we yep. about six months of plan. Is there anyone who can just go there and just start something? Just, okay. Nobody wanted to go. And everybody started putting on me. PC, and you, so you're talking over, you always talk a lot. I said, no, I'm not going. The, my life yeah. is. Literally, you know the backstage of the tutorial has a curtain. Yeah. He literally pushed me through that curtain, mm -hmm. and the student could see me staggering into the stage. He started laughing. He, he's drunk. He, he's drunk. I'm like, I'm not drunk. They say, that's what they say. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now that we're here, are you ready to have a good time? They say, yes. And that's how uh, the first time I would get on the microphone, and I bring in all the, you know, the winners, student campus fellowship, redeem all of the church. I brought a choir, and from there onward, all the other campus fellowship started inviting me to host their praise night, their drama night, and that's how I started. Nineteen ninety-eight. And it's so funny, you know, you know, how, you know. Sometimes when they say events come to your aid, yes. right? This, this is it. Yes. Because we had no idea. Walk up that day was like normal one. Oh, you. Right. I was a choir conductor. Right. I was meant to conduct my choir. It was choir about on three souls, but I ended up becoming the host. And then I remember the first pay I ever got was the winner student, winner's chapter students. Oh, yeah, because that's another thing. Because now, because you were not paid for that, right? Oh, it was. And they didn't put for Yeah, but at the end, it's not even sure. Couldn't make it. I had an accident. So his accident was my blessing. So, but he's here now. <laughs> yeah. So, what was your first Your my first pay was from um, Campus Fellowship of Winner's Chapel. Okay. They gave me a book on. Um, the wife, Wait, sorry, that was your... My first book was a book, and the book is How to Know the Will of God in Marriage. That was the your pain. In 98. <laughs> People help me, though, because I, I, I need to marry the will of God in marriage. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it, it's one thing to, to, to do comedy and all that, yes. but it's another thing to say, hey, you know what? Yes, I, I host, I'm MC, but let me start doing, like, events now. So it's weddings, birthdays. How do you segue into, into such? It's actually the opposite. The opposite is the case. Okay. Um, I started, like, this, that particular uh, concert we had on campus, I was involved in planning that event. Okay. So I started planning the event first before I became an MC. I'm a triple P guy. I'm a producer, event producer. I'm a performer. I'm a promoter. So I started producing, promoting first. Okay. It was when I planned or produced this concert that the MC was not there, that it pushed me to go. I had already promoted it, right. produced it, and I ended up performing. Yeah. So okay. event planning, event production yes. is my first love. Okay. I just not happen to be somebody who can host, okay. who can do stand-up comedy. So I'm a full package. So if I look for a show, nobody I look back on. I will promote. So no one can, no one can like do it. I do it. Kind of do it. I one, 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 one full blown at the other way out. <laughs> okay. And but now you do weddings, right? You do, yes. you know. So, what would you say if you had to like dig back and 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 ask you what is the one? I'm sure you have many memorable events. But what is the one memorable event that you've hosted where either it showed you Pepe as in it was a tough crowd to crack? So you, you know, you're like 
look, I, I, it comes effortless to me. Or maybe that crowd was just kind of like, and you were like, try so hard, or just something else. So like, what what would you say? It, it, it doesn't matter, no matter how good you are as a kid, you know, there's an, oh yeah, there's an audience, you're like, oh my God, can this just be over right now? I remember the, yeah, of course, every day is not a good day in the office. We have some bad days in the office. I've cried before. Yeah, I had a bad day. Oh, wow. I'll tell you two, one, two, one as a comedian, one as an MC. Okay. Now, here, yeah, that's what happened in Houston. Okay. They booked me to do this, do stand up in a wedding. Okay. I was an amateur. I didn't really ask a lot of, normally you're supposed to find out. Do you teach it every day? Yeah. Because yeah. I was new in the game, I didn't really find out a lot of stuff. So I would just more. I just concentrated on the material that I thought I would perform. Okay. Without finding out who's going to be there. The audience. So know your audience. That's, that's very important. Thanks. Very important. Okay. Ask questions. Okay. <laughs> so now I have this program materials in my head. And you know, as comedians, we memorize all our materials. We don't have like, yeah. like yeah. everything has to come from safe. Is, is it that like you got it? That's the flow, right? You don't have it. You're your own, you know? So I go to this venue. I'm like, okay, I already have my materials. I'm going to sync everything up in my head. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to link it up with this. Young man goes to the hub. The bride is Nigerian. Okay. The groom is Hispanic. Oh, okay. Now. Well, you knew that. I didn't know. What? You know that it was a brand that booked me. I didn't. Let's I was new. I didn't ask questions. Okay. I didn't have a meeting. It doesn't matter. You come to the. Can you do uh, start like, catch with tickets? I was like, yeah, I do. I do because of, right? I was super excited. And so when they booked me for a gig, I got there naturally or or naturally. The whole was divided into two: Nigerians on one side, or the Hispanic one side. Whoa. Now, as a comedian out there, please, let me advise you. If you're a comedian, anybody ever invited to do stand-up, don't try to do stand-up during dinner. I don't care how funny you are. Nobody will eat. Because they're trying to eat, right? So everybody focus on that. Fries and jello fries and salad, whatever they eat. I don't care how funny you are. Right. Now, they brought me up. They brought me up during dinner time. I could have said, no, I can't do it. Can we do it before or after? Now, they are most Hispanic don't understand English. Now I'm doing materials. People are walking across me. This was, was a buffet. Okay. Just imagine like, on stage performing, you are carrying the rice, a bowl of rice, walking across me. He's got a part of the German soup, walking across me. Confusion everywhere. I know. Nobody's listening to me. Even me, I couldn't even hear myself. I just I wanted the grant to open. I just just swallowed me up. I was able to drop the microphone. Okay. I didn't even wait to eat my food. As I just ate that my class and God, I don't do it. I don't record it again. I don't do it again. But I learned that taught me a lesson, like you said, to do due to the gents, know your audience, prepare the right materials, and all of that. So that's a net. Ne so what would you have done, maybe before you say the second one? What would you have done? So that, so knowing, so you now, and I know what could I have done better. So again, asking, definitely, you don't know what the groom is. Like who is this girl? Who is the girl? <laughs> who is coming? Uh, how many minutes? I mean, what am I going to do stand up? Now I can tell you, I'm not going to do stand up during dinner. Okay, what can I see? What can I not? What should I not see? You have to do all of that detailing for you to know the kind of you can't just so you just like a doctor. Yeah, you're a medical doctor. You can't just give the same prescription to every patient. Yeah, you have to, you have to ask what that? what is it diagnosis because yeah. say is it high? Is this, you, know, you know what I mean? The same same approach is what I use to my my prepare for any setup. Very important. So definitely nothing there. Ah, he will never forget it. I wanted to know. You're going to make me cry. And I said, oh, that's right. I don't have to be out of here. Step up. What was it? Thank God. The second, the second one was just happened yesterday. Oh. One of the cool ones. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I was telling you, we're off, uh, off, off by what we we're preparing for this recording. I hosted a fortunate bed yesterday for a, a, a lady. But during the pre production meeting, blend out. Can you like learn this? Look. <laughs> I overheard him saying that the um, the dad, I mean, the father daughter dance was omitted when she had her wedding couple of years, about 10, 15 years ago. Oh, that when she married? Yes. The MC or the court. It's just, it's not, I don't know. I told In the midst of confusion, now anything can happen. So you can, because it's in line of the program, you can skip this. Nobody remembers. So I heard him say that, and I didn't say anything, I kept it to myself. Then yesterday, Dad happened to be the one who did the opening prayer. And right after the opening prayer, I didn't let him go. So I kind of praised him to some yeah. characters on here. Then later on, I said, Dad, do you remember a couple of years ago something happened? So he was like, I can't think of anything. It's because he seemed from the first time. Yeah. Now, who is he talking about? I said, well, long story short, when your daughter got married a few years ago, you were supposed to do a daughter, a father to that dance, but it was omitted. So in the midst of everyone, I'm going to give you an opportunity to dance with your baby kid. The way I transitioned the story, the build up of the intro, 
Because to be an MC is not just to be an MC. You have to build up, take people's emotion, and get it to yes, like, with you. Drive them with you and like take them on a journey. And when I did the introduction, the clap alone was better than the clap the celebrant got when she came in initially. They do the task, put them down with, with crying. If I had the celebrant's makeup, if I had the Miriam King, if I had the Miriam the King, for it. You have to take another five minutes break to fix the Mary Kay and retouch the face. And the man, the father, hugged me for more than three minutes and prayed for me and prayed for me. So I see me as um, a matter of blessing, favor, for Mr. So that was, that was really good. And I think it really, it's a testament to the fact that you, you're aware. Yes. You, uh, you, know, pay attention to the you pay attention to the details because that that was a detail yeah. that anyone could have missed, yeah. right? Because you could have just seen that, oh, two people are just having conversations, like, oh, what's your own? You just, like, you know, bypassed it. Well, you... Yeah. And I got a phone dollar tip for that. So, uh, uh -huh. I'll share with you after spend. Yes, are you sure with me after spending? Okay. Are you serious? It, 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 it. Well, that, oh, wow. That, uh, so this, thank you for these two examples. The first one, and, and it's funny because the first one you never forget. And... You learn a key lesson, right? That's how to play that in the second, in the second one. Yeah. And I look at that, right? So the person every disappointment is a blessing. It, it was like a normal say in Africa. It really is. It really experience sometimes is the best teacher, but sometimes our experience is, is the wrong teacher. <laughs> experience is always the best teacher. That it depends on quicker rather than it. Yes, yes, yes. Look, that is this is that's. Thank you so much. So cool. quickly give a shout out, right, to your patrons to your support system besides doing events you also do comedy i know there's a there's one that's coming up i watch comedy yeah. now guys we may or may not show this show you know before or after his event but he's going to talk to you about it he also does in addition to nc events and all that he also um he organized like so gosh you we are one of your your boss of shock you also organize you know comedy shows so tell us about this one that's that's going to air i will that's going to showcase may 14th hopefully this this Fact, let's try and broadcast this before my show. So you'll be aware of it. <laughs> producer, I beg, I'll pick you. Producer, I beg, I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Please. All right. Every year, I, play, I do a comedy show on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Because I don't really care about Father's Day. All we get is boxers, singlets. <laughs> but Mother's Day, you know, Mother's always get everything. But the times give a uh, New Year, Christmas, you pay their birthday, which is just in the year. Yeah. Ladies always have to pay the trust in the year. Yeah, so I did a concert around mother because if you get mothers, you get husband, you get a children. You get the entire family. We say now. So, so, so for the past 10, 12 years, I've been doing this Mother's Day show. But this year on is going to be unique because this is what I'm going to do after like two, three years uh, uh, post-COVID. So it's like it's coming back for us. Yeah, I haven't done it for about two, three years because of COVID. And this year I'm bringing Akia for Paul. Okay. You know you know them. I need to buy the king of comedy. And of course with my... My friends, you know, here in, in America, Shayibra, Wamilene, uh, a lot of good comedians that are coming. It's going to be at the Enoch Center on Beach Club. It's going to be beautiful. It's a banquet style. So dress code is, you know, dress as a guy. And, you know, it look cool. There's going to be a lot of food, a lot of drinks. Everybody's going to be looking beautiful. She's going to be on the red carpet, you know, to interview you. So uh, tickets are pretty affordable. I will give her free tickets uh, after the show on Monday. Yes, after the show. <laughs> yes. So, but on a serious note, I'm into production. So if you have any show, product launch, uh, birthday parties, I don't do a lot of weddings because it's a lot of work. I do more music concert, comedy shows, uh, you know. Yeah, well, I'll take you less headache. And yeah, <laughs> but otherwise, MC, comedy, destination, your boy got you. Thank you so much, MCPC, for that. Oh my goodness, those two um, examples you gave are just epic. It has, it's been an utmost pleasure having you on the show. You're truly gifted. But before we go, mm -hmm. any do you have one one of, of advice you have for anyone out there, you know, viewers, who maybe the person has been contemplating going into, you know, MC events, you know, or, or even comedy. Maybe they think, oh, they have a knack for it. Then people have told them. Right. The first you one, do it, yeah. You thought about the story. The story, the story, the story, the story. <laughs> <laughs> More than a variety, you know. So what kind of advice will you have for, for such a person? Just start now. So my advice to you will be start from your immediate environment. You know, your family, if it's your younger brother, you want to you can plan a baby or a small gig for your brother, or your sister, or if you belong to a church or any group that you belong to, be involved. To volunteer to just volunteer at the day. Don't go for the money. Money will come after perfection. Like in my story is at this comedy met me before money came. 
Even right now, even if you don't pay me, I can do stand up, but you pay me on late money. <laughs> so, my advice to you either you want to do stand up or you want to do event planning or you want to do promotion or you want to do MC, start from your immediate environment. It could be decoration, it could be makeup. As far as you're already thinking about it, that means you have the capacity. You already know what it means. Yeah, that's what it means. So, if you're already doing it, if you already see yourself doing it, you may as well do it. So, uh, but specifically, if you want to go into comedy or event production or you want to do MC, you can always reach out to me on my Instagram for mentorship. It's free. It goes freely. Go give it to me. I'm also willing to share with where is that make. And I have a show coming up. If you want to come and be, uh, do intern with us on how to do, you know, event production, you're welcome to the team. We won't pay you shot, but you learn work. That's, that, that's payment. That's paying in kind, you know. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. I mean, just the, even me again, just even the way you give the examples and all that, you know, just happen. Even the way you're even giving me the advice, you know. But um, it shows that uh, you've got passion for your craft and it shines through. And like you said, I think I really like the um, what you said about just start, um, but don't do it for the money. The money will come later, right? Yeah, I think that's very important. Right? That's very important, especially in this day and age where. Everything is so like fast. If people are looking for instant gratification, but it's like, oh, you need to build up, right? And then it will come. Do you know sometimes I go host weddings and I forget to forget to forget to call them my payment? Are you serious? Yeah. And you don't connect it later. Yeah. It will be old. I have to get my kind of old. I have to care. I have, but I'm missing you. And it, but because I just go there because I love people. I just want people to love to so love what you do. Have love for your client. Yeah. The, the money will come eventually. Yeah. So that's how you build up. My father said you build up. You don't build up from yeah. ground. So I'm in a hurry to make it okay. <laughs> Guys, it has been at almost pleasure just having him. Like I said, like he said, do it for the passion, right? Do it for the passion and not necessarily the money. The money will come later. Look, if you if you're good in your craft, the money will come later, right? But like I mean, like he also said. You've been mulling over this. You want to, you know, you've been contemplating, oh, how do I start? Just start. Just take the leap. If you've already been thinking about it in your head, chances are you probably are good at it. Yeah. Just take the leap. What's the worst that will happen? You're successful, right? Yep. And you even learn from, even if, even the sort of failures where you learn from it. I'm caught better like you did. I'm not happy like you did. Thank you so much. Good time. I will have you back on the show. Again. I want to come back to pay a bottle of jello fries. I thought jello fries. Let's talk about jello fries for them. They probably they don't worry. Next time I'm like a proper pastor. You know, when when we when we start on the low, I don't worry. No, you don't go sit. Ah, I do not sit. This is really huge. I appreciate you having me on. I saw the production team. I know you don't see that. He likes to have the I know. I hate your race. I'm more. <laughs> Viewers, it be, it's been so nice having MCPC on the show and, and giving you, you know, on the show. Thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed, don't let me send him after you. So, so for, uh, subscribe to my show, like and share the link. The goodness with conversations with you. So these are how of guests we'll bring on here who just share their stories, share how they got started, you know, and hopefully to motivate one or some of us, right? If that's all that happens from my show or the results from my show, I am indeed blessed. Okay. So until the next time on my show, I say you stay safe and have a super sparkly week ahead. Bye now. <laughs>